right, we're back with Austin's Metal Update and Stephanie's Rock Show.com. We have Les Hall, the guitarist of Crossfade. Thanks very much for coming on. Okay, so we want to talk about the new album that was just released June 21st, We All Bleed. Who thought of the name of the album and what does it mean? Well, We All Bleed was the, um, the first record we wrote. And uh, the guy that did our artwork, Kai Irons, actually uh, when he was uh, coming up with the concept, And you guys are coming to the Texas area June 24th, so everyone's going to have to check that out, crossfade.com. You can find your tour. Um, where are you guys currently touring right now? Uh, it's actually crossfadeband.com. We're in Toledo, or no, we're in Dayton, Ohio right now. Do you wake up sometimes and you guys don't know where you're at and you are just kind of go with it? <laughs> I never know where I'm at. <laughs> That's I'm awesome. parking lot, I know that. Hey, on your website, I really liked the quote that you guys had. Um, we've always been dark, and people need that as a drop back to their lives. I dig it. Who thought of that quote, and can you explain a little bit more on it? So that I know I've always kind of had a dark soul. It's like a much of a dark person, but, um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, people go through things in their life, and um, music is uh, something that can kind of rejuvenate your soul, um, something you can identify with and, um, during those times, as well as rock out to. And one of the songs, listen to the album, it kicks ass, by the way. Um, you have Dear Cocaine. Um, Dear Cocaine, did Cocaine write a song back? And was that actually about the drug? It's actually about the drug. Everybody else will come to you. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, yeah, you know, it's about a girl or a guy that you know, you can interpret it however you want. But uh, I think for me, the idea came, uh, Dear Cocaine, not your bitch, not your whore, was a... Uh, kind of a thought I had in the shower one day. And, uh, <laughs> so it was definitely in regards to cocaine. Were you doing blow in the shower when you had this thought, or you were sober? I was literally in the shower, and the um, the melody and the lyrics for the first uh, couple lines just popped in my head. So I put on the towel, went up to the piano, and played it, and then um, didn't think much of it, and then uh, played it for Eddie and Mitch, and they liked the idea, and um, kind of kind of turned it into a little storyline from there, and then, uh, you know, just finished the song. Yeah, interesting. So how is, from the Falling Away album, how have you guys changed, like, as a bound, band and maybe sound-wise to We All Bleed? A whole hell of a lot. <laughs> um, you know, obviously it's a, a heavier record and a darker record, and uh, I think sonically, you know, it's way more layered. Um, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of keyboards on this record, a lot of, uh, a lot of string arrangements in there, effects and, um, and a little gadgetry that I used in the guitar and whatnot. So, um, you know, just overall a heavier record. Nice. So besides guitar and piano, what else do you play? Um, a lot. Drums, bass, um, you know, vibraphone, melodica, any, uh, any kind of synthesizer or keyboard instrument, you know, mandolin. As a band, what do you think Crossfade has as influences into what artists have customized the sound that you guys have now? Um, let's see here. I would say, you know, Eddie and Mitch, big um, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Metallica, guys, um, Faith No More. Um, for myself, uh, definitely no more stuff, you know, I listened to Frank Zappa for a year straight, um, anything that Mike Patton touches I think is golden, uh, like Mr. Bungle, Faith No More, Fantomas, um, I was a big Chains Addiction fan back in the day, Smashing Pumpkins, Soundgarden, you know, all of those guys, but um, probably, um, you know, all the classic guitar players as well. I love that song Cold, if we go and see you live this tour, are we going to hear the song Cold? No, we quit playing that one, you know, years ago, we just got a little old, but, uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, and in order to not clear the place out, you know, halfway through the show, we usually save it to the last, but, uh, you know, if you go to the concert, you will definitely hear cold.
Well, thank you so much, Les, for coming on the show. And so CrossfadeBand.com, check. They're touring all around the U.S. right now. And uh, if you have anything else you want to add? Yeah, we, we also have our Facebook site, which is uh, Facebook.com slash Crossfade Band, and uh, Twitter as well, which is at Crossfade Music. And then we've got a little uh, YouTube channel, which is Crossfade Music TV, and all those will be on, uh, on the website. So um, come see little videos of us uh, off and, you know, hanging out on the bus and doing whatever. Thanks so much, and we hope the tour kicks ass.